think of a recording artist who's alive. So think of it. Tell me, have you all got one yeah, in your go head? Yeah, on, go on. Go on in your head. Yeah, yeah. Go on in your head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They said no. Um, <laughs> they <laughs> all <laughs> said no. That was the last thing I was expecting. Yeah. To making waves across the pond in the legendary world of late night TV, our next guest has been there and done it. He's popped home for a bit, and tonight at 10 p.m. on Sky One, the Late Late Show live in London kicks off. Here to tell us more about it, it's the one and only Mr. James Corden. Good morning, James. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm very, very well. This view you have <laughs> is so glorious. What an incredible uh, place to come to work it's every day. Because I've heard you talk about it when I listen to the show on the app which I think I've contacted you about before, but I've never quite... And you've talked about this view, and I've always wondered, oh, is he lying? Is he making it up just for the wireless? But look at this. It's incredible. It's, it's amazing. It gets, We're on the it? top of London. When you hear that intro that Dapper Dave just read out there, can you believe that's about you? I'm so... I can, but I'm so pleased for you. It's so, You know, the, the mad world of late, late night television, I and can't. he's here to do his London specials, and he lives in Los Angeles. Can I you... Don't, it's all too... It's Still. all too much for my... Um, Good. Sort of, you know, it's too much for my body to... to if I think about it too much, if I think about all of it, then I get... Uh, I just sort of can't... So I don't. I try not to really, because I think nobody wants someone who just sits around going, "What is going on?" I do. All I, the I, time. Want that. I want you. I want you like that in my life. Well, then you've got it right you're, now. Your yeah. superstar to me, stratospheric. It's, James, I'm so. I'm always pleased for you. Every sort of seven minutes of every day, I'm just pleased. For, uh, uh, Tasha, are you being pleased for James again? Aren't you? So, <laughs> yes, oh, that's it. That's my look. Oh, it's, me, it's me being pleased for, pleased that for James. That is the loveliest again. thing you could ever say. It so, really is. And the fact that you, you're over in the UK doing the UK week of your massive. US TV show that just sounds brilliant and it's so big and people want to be in it so much what the Americans scheduled to appear that week have to do is fly over to the UK to be on the show like Tom <laughs> Hanks for example is he on tonight Tom's on tonight uh Tom Hanks is on tonight Gillian Anderson's on tonight then we have a a big uh, a big taped piece that's on this evening where we played a, a game of dodgeball you the united kingdom versus the united states and i'm the captain of the uk team and it's me harry styles uh benedict cumberbatch versus uh <laughs> michelle obama <laughs> melissa mccarthy because nice. she is the bomb i mean she was over here last week uh, sorry last year with her book which sold yeah. more, more copies in one week the most other books sold all year. Some very good books, but most co more copies in one week than most books sold in the top ten best-selling Sunday Times list than any other books sold in the whole year. She's back for talking to us this year. How well do you know her? Um, well, I mean, I don't have her phone number, but I know her well enough to say, "Hey, how you yeah, doing?" Yeah. yeah. But you, you, she, she's is she as nice as everybody says she, well, oh, she man, must be? Oh man, she's nicer. She? It's it's quite it's quite astonishing to. Um, be in her orbit for a moment because what's great is if you spend long enough with her you 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 start to see oh so for me for me this is this is everything this moment with you right now but for you this is every day yeah. every day you are you have to be kind of on and, and she understands completely the impact that she has when she walks in a room and that and she's just incredible at it i i was I'm so taken with her in every single way, really. I, I think she is a true example of, of how to behave and how to treat others. We're both, we're both, we were both waiters before, um, before he became Chris Hemsworth and I started doing whatever it is that I do. And we, uh, so we went back to our roots to see if we still had it in us to be a waiter. Oh. It was a huge mistake on my part. To be even stood next to Chris Hemsworth, I don't know if you spent any time with him. It's not pleasant. It isn't pleasant if you look like me and you're stood with him. Like you look at, like it's quite astonishing. There is a context, isn't oh there? Oh my god! I was stood next to him in this thing, <laughs> and I was looking at him. I was like, technically, technically, we're the same species. Do you know what I mean? Chris yeah, yeah. Hemsworth and I, we're the same species. You're both allegedly human but beings. But we are both allegedly male <laughs> humans, but that, that does not tell you you're anything so... about the, what it's actually you're looking you're at. You're so right. So we did that. Because most pigeons do look the same. Most <laughs> yes. peacocks look the same. Most yeah. cows, most bulls look the same. Yeah. But Chris Hemsworth and the rest of us... I know. It's not It's fair. quite astonishing. Okay, we'll talk about carpool karaoke after 8.30, because let's face it, it's wearing a bit thin. <laughs> um, you know, it's peaked. No question about it. I mean... 
Oh. We've only done it twice this year. Of course, it's amazing. I'm joking. It's amazing. So uh, you were talking there about the the king of late night, David Letterman. Uh, Johnny Carson for some, Dave Letterman uh, for others. Uh, you, you, you pick your you pick your favorite guy. So he did his show for how long on US? Letterman? I think he did it for like 25 years or something like that. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, there was a bit, there was a, when Johnny Carson stepped down from the Tonight Show. Um, if there's a brilliant film called The Late Night Wars, it's a better book. There's a better book. The the book, the Bill Carter book is is I think better than the yeah. Film. They go hand in hand for but, sure. But they're both, I mean, to be honest, you're right. It's it's a TV movie, but for for TV nerds like us, I thought it was gold. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. be honest, yeah, um, it's quite but, a fascinating yeah, m- moment in time. And it's how Jay Leno ends up getting Johnny Carson's show when everybody knew it should have gone to Letterman, including actually Jay Leno. Uh, but um, he got it, and then and then Letterman went over to the other side. Uh, but they then did the show for years for hundreds of millions of dollars cumulatively, didn't they? They got paid hundreds of millions of dollars. I, I believe that's correct, yeah. Well, I know Letterman was on $24 million a year in 96. <laughs> I know that. And he gave the show up when? Uh, well, he he ended just after we started, so 2014. Right, so my, even with my uh, rudimental <laughs> maths, that's a, about a quarter of a billion dollars, and that's after 1996. <laughs> so that was that's all going very well. But he said on his last show... Well, well, so his last line on his last show... Well, he didn't say on his last show. When he announced that he was stepping down, he said... Uh, when he announced he was stepping down, he said, I told myself that the day I got bored of this job, a decade later I'd retire. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is right up there in, in, the, in some of the funniest things that, that, that David Letterman ever said. So, uh, you're four years in. He did it yeah. for, I think he did it for 30-odd years, all yeah. in all. Um, do you have any kind of crystal ball, misty as it may be, for I the don't future? Know. I, I don't know. I, th- I imagine I'll stay doing it for a, a little while, I think. I th- that's my, my hunch. Uh, but, I, but then at the same time, for us as well, for, for, for Julie, my wife and I, we have a, a, we have a greater question, which is... Where do we, you know, look, we, we're a long way from home, you know, uh, when we're doing the show. And there's, there's, there's people here on this glorious island that we, we miss every day. And, 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 you know, there are questions, where do we want our kids to go to school? There's people getting older, that time is the key and time with people and, and all of those things. And all of those things will, will be factors which are far greater than do I still want to carry on doing the show or not? It's, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a greater question than that you know i think and it's a nicer adventure than a life sentence isn't it yeah i think so look i don't know i it, it might be that that every time it comes up that i think god no there's still more i want to do in this particular space you know but then it, it might be that, that i think you know I, there's things i really miss about being in a play or or, or writing you know sort of narrative tv and things like that there's there's things i i miss greatly um, and and muscles that I, I still enjoy using from from time to time, but I, I don't. I wonder. We'll see. Really, I don't know. We'll we'll sort of cross or burn that bridge when we get to it. You know, my hunch is I will continue to do it for, for a, a while. Weeks. Yeah, which means you might need some fresh ideas. Okay. So let's get on to this show. Oh great! I'm excited <laughs> for this. This has had quite the build up. I'm really, I'm really so excited. I'm, I'm, I hope all, the CBS lawyers are listening because. You Let's know. recap on your carpool karaoke that you're still doing. <laughs> All right, uh, just for people who don't know, what is it and how did it? Be, when did it emerge as an idea? And we were talking about this, and Ben started saying, "Is there a thing we could do where we're out and about in a in a in a car?" But then we were like, "Well, Jerry Seinfeld." Jerry Seinfeld has a show where he chats to people in a car. We're like, "Well, what can we do?" I get it. The stripped down nature of it's good and. But then we were, we were sort of saying, well, people always talk about the traffic in L.A. And Ben was like, what if, I wonder if, you, you know, what if, you know, we were, you pick up the biggest artist in the world in your car to help you get to work. Like, there's got to be a hook to it. It can't just be driving around, you know, to help you get to work. And I said, to beat the traffic in the carpool lane. And I remember it was like 3 p.m. on a Friday and we were going to work till like 7. And I said, we, and we called it carpool karaoke and we all just went and we all just went we all just stopped and Gabe says and I'd forgotten this Gabe said that I was holding a pen and I just put the pen down on the desk and left and I said that's it we're done and 
we left and we went home. And there's quite a fun thing we can do, which all the listeners, anyone listening to, we, there's a fun game we can play here, which everyone now in the studio, everybody waiting in the control room, everybody in their car and the way to office, wherever they are, drop to having coming back from the school run, wherever you are right now, if everybody, everyone now, think of a recording artist who's alive. So think of it. Tell me, have you all got one yeah, in your go head? Yeah, on, go on. Got one in your head? Yeah, yeah. Got one in your head? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They said no. Um, they <laughs> all <laughs> said no. That was the last and, thing I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, we thought we had this great idea that people would go, yes. Let's just check they said no. And Who was yours, Matt? <laughs> I thought Cher. Said no. Rod Stewart. Said no. Snow Patrol. Said no. Okay. And they all said no. And nobody would do it. And and we were like, what? And then it was just a chance meeting with with Mar- someone who looks after Mariah Carey, oh. very close to Mariah Carey. And, and we, I was able to play this wonderful A&R executive. I played her the, the, the clip of me and George Michael. I played her a clip of me and Gary Barlow singing. And it just, the, the timing happened that Mariah was going to put some new dates on in Vegas. And it just all came together. And it was, and, and she was like, okay, we'll do it on Saturday. And that was like, a week before we launched the show. You've got to watch this, everyone. If you haven't got Sky Now, get it today or go around <laughs> to a friend's. Um, I, 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 I'm almost going to say, just br- if, you th- if you suspect a neighbour has Sky, break in. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not suggesting no, that. Uh, once again, just run us through who's on tonight, James, if you don't mind. Uh, tonight is Tom Hanks, Gillian Anderson, David Blaine, and, a, and, a, and then a, a big sketch with Michelle Obama, <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch, <laughs> Harry Styles, Melissa McCarthy, yeah. Alison Janney, yeah. Kate Hudson, yeah. Mila Kunis. Yeah and more yeah content wise it's a bit thin but anyway tune in <laughs> regardless 10pm tonight but at 9pm tonight get you, to get you in the mood the latest carpool karaoke is Celine Dion Sky One 9pm tonight um, and that's currently had 16.74 million hits uh, the biggest carpool karaoke is of course Michelle Obama uh, Madonna and Paul McCartney and people are still talking about Paul McCartney and you're in the Danny Boyle film. I pop up in it. Very small. Well, very no, you're, but you're in it. You're still in it. Kind, yeah, but I'm just, you no. know, playing a talk show host. No, but I'm not really. I'm sort of not. <laughs> I, I feel weird saying I'm in it because I'm sort of just you're being myself. But I'm not really. Not well, like everyone else is in it, you know? Well, well, Ed Sheeran's in it playing himself. But he's properly in it. He's in it a lot. I literally <laughs> pop up. It's been great to talk to you. You are... A force for good, James oh, Gordon. You're so kind. You are a force for good, and I know you've realised that. And uh, to, to be uh, aware, first of all, you have to be awake. Uh, to prepare, you must repair. Uh, to be present, uh, you, you must remember to be breathed and not breathe. Well done, my friend. Thanks, man. What a lovely way to come. End can't this. wait for your show tonight. Well, I hope you I'm like so it. So excited. I hope you like I'm it. So excited. We'll be on all week. Well, can we get it in France? I'm oh, sure we can. <laughs> It'll be there somewhere. All right. We'll figure it out. Have a great week. 